COVID-19 delayed census data used to restrict to redistrict state and congressional maps. Broad numbers are in. However, specific data won't come in until September. CBS 4's Kayla Sullivan reports what's expected to happen between now and then. For everyday Hoosiers, it's not too early. The public really, you know, needs to be engaged and, and not wait for the General Assembly to start. The Indiana Citizens Redistricting Commission has already hosted 10 virtual public hearings and will continue seeking map drawing input. My job has been to compile all of that a really important testimony into a report that we'll be delivering to the General Assembly soon. Senate President Pro Tem Roderick Bray says it will be considered. We want as much public input as we can have, and I know they're going to work hard on it. It's very important to them. They'll host their own public hearings late summer. But at the end of the day, lawmakers are the ones drawing the maps. A recent decline in rural populations and an increase in urban and suburban areas could make it challenging. I think Republicans should potentially be ready uh, to lose uh, blue seats, uh, mainly because, like I said, because of those shifts in population. Those rural areas, the districts are going to be larger than they used to be because we have to make sure that the districts, all 50 of them in the Senate, all 100 of them in the House, have uh, very, very close to the same population. Bray says they'll avoid gerrymandering. It's not the way to do it. Common Cause Indiana says it's up to voters to make sure maps are fair. We will be stuck with these districts whether we like them or we hate them. These new maps will not change for another 10 years. Kayla Sullivan, CBS 4 News.